Well, as expected, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is reportedly looking into whether some of Zillow's advertising revenues violate RESPA regulations regarding kickbacks. NAR and the Market Watch both have recent articles on this topic. RESPA, or the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, passed by Congress in 1974 to make sure those providers weren't funneling customers to each other in exchange for kickbacks or other inappropriate rewards. The CFPB is investigating Zillow's co-marketing plan. Now, this is a plan that allows a real estate agent to share the cost of an ad on the Zillow website with a preferred lender. At question is, does this make those lenders or agents appear as they are receiving approval from each other or from Zillow? The CFPB has requested information several times over Zillow's co-marketing plan since 2015. Its most recent civil investigative demand came in April, according to MarketWatch. Zillow officials stated in a recent earnings report that they believe their practices do fall within the rest of compliance and are cooperating with the CFPB. The result could be far-reaching as many agents co-market with a lender. As it has been broadly written about, the benefit to the lender is difficult to track and can be unclear when agents co-market with several lenders. The agency usually takes actions like this when it believes its case is pretty clear-cut. We will keep an eye on this one as it affects a lot of us in this industry. Now, for minding your own business. Now let's talk about the use of relevance in real estate advertising. We all know we're not in a one-size-fits-all society now. So whether you're posting on social media, creating ads on Facebook, on postcards, local publications, or park benches, think about relevance. In order to make sure you're reaching your intended audience, you need to get good data. Now it takes some research and analytics to know the demographics in the area you are targeting. But once you understand the data, you can focus your ad on that audience. You should find it to be more effective and cost less. This is called inbound marketing. Now, instead of the old outbound marketing methods of buying ads, buying email lists, praying for leads, inbound marketing focuses on creating quality content that pulls people toward your company and services. That's where they naturally want to be. So by aligning the content you publish with your customer's interests, you naturally attract inbound traffic that then you can convert, close, and delight over time. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for joining me again and have a great day.